Let's look at the dangers of mentally colonized Africans. Like you saw in that video that we showed earlier, <laughs> how this Ibrahim guy gathered our children all in the name of going to beg for money for him while he sleeps. No, his 20-year-old son, Mohammed, is now managing it for him. They are using religion to destroy the next generation. They are not looking at the outcomes of these children that they claim that they are training. At the end of the day, they are all drug addicts. Nobody is looking for them. The parents that gave birth to them is thanking God they are no longer their problems. Oh, I have handed it down to Allah. Allah will do it for them. When your child, your children, they have been turned into drug addicts. They have turned into, that's, they are, they are the groups where people will go and sexually molest these children at any point in time. Nobody will ask any questions. Sharia law and underdevelopment of children is going on. Children are street begging, child labor everywhere. The same mentally colonized Africans, they will use outdated and backward Islamic practices, such as early girl marriage and this empowerment of girl uh, children. These children are losing their childhood and proper mental development. All you have to do from morning to night is you're going like this for eight hours, then you go and beg for another eight hours. They say they can't even get enough sleep, feeling dizzy most of the time. These children are homeless, as we know, because a lot of them run away. After they beat them and beat them, I know it's not just beating. After they beat them and rape them, a lot of them will run away. Imagine sitting in so-called Quranic school, reciting something that you don't know what's the meaning <laughs> for eight hours. Hmm? No sleep, no health care, nothing, no proper nutrition. If you don't beg and beg for food all day, then you're on your own. And then we are looking at these dysfunctional children who are supposed to be the future of tomorrow. So what kind of adults are we looking forward to? When we, give, when we create dysfunctional children in the next 10 years, let's say they are 12, in the next 10 years, they're going to be 22. Now they are considered adults. What are we going to have? Dysfunctional adults. You see how we'll be running in circles so that when you don't put anything, children are like a brand new computer. They are whatever you download in them. If you download nonsense in them, they will turn out to be nonsense. If you break them down at, at the age of uh, childhood, they will continue to be disorganized human beings and keep having mental problems. So you can see that these children, if they give birth, they are not likely to take care of them. If they get married, they are likely to abuse their wives. They are not likely to be responsible citizens of the universe. They won't have anything to offer you because most of the time they are so addicted to drugs that drugs will be calling their names. And to make matter worse, because they are sleeping with each other as male children, they are likely to get married, give their wife disease and still go back and sleep with men. Back to square one. Do we have the hospital to take care of this? No. Do we have the healthcare facility to take care of all of this? No. And we are all watching. And then when you go to all these places that is, you know, uh, is in an abject poverty condition, the first thing you will see is a massive religious center, either a mosque or church. Everywhere you go, people will be dying of hunger. And the most beautiful cathedral or uh, Quran church or whatever they call themselves, Mamihana was a church, will be all nice in the midst of the hungry mosque. Mosque, my dear, thank you. Just look at it. Everywhere you go in Africa, people will be dying of poverty. There is no job. There is no hospital. There are no good roads. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But the church will be standing still. The mosque will be all good. They will be going there brainwashing people, and they will be thinking, oh, yeah, we're the children of God. We can stay in church for eight hours, and food will fall from heaven and come into our noses and, and, and digest into our stomach disgusting and disturbing at the same time. I will let my sister continue.